is very much like saying Arsenal are top or they're going to win the title. Yes, it's going to be very difficult. I don't think that we're going to be playing well enough, but I think we can still finish in the top four. Um, but I suppose, I don't want to say the title's over because we can... Can we see Man City and Arsenal or Man City dropping loads of points? But as Jürgen says, we're not thinking about the title. We're thinking about improving to win football matches to push up the league. It's such a shock though, Jamie, because of how good Liverpool have been. Pushing City all the way in the last four seasons. Champions League finalists again last season. Two domestic cups as well. We didn't expect this, did we? No, I don't think anybody could foresee what's going on right now. Um, and then obviously then you start to unravel, it starts to unravel, then you start looking at the age of the squad, they need to improve what they're trying to achieve right now. Um, Mane was a, a, I know I listened to you, you, know, you said this week, more, it, Paul, it was a, a very strange decision to sell him, but I must admit Nunes was very good today. There's a lot of things in midfield that I think need to be addressed in time. It's going to be, obviously you can't do it right now because you can't get any players in, maybe January, maybe next season. They need energy in there. They need to add some youthfulness to it. I think if you look at the likes of obviously James Milner and Henderson, have been incredible for the club. Thiago not getting any younger. You have to find the next ones. Now they have. They do try to implement a different style of football now by bringing in players like Thiago. You want to get a, more of a control on the football match. But where Liverpool have been so effective over the years is the pace and the energy that the midfield have got. They win second balls and they let the front three really pretty much take care of that. Right now, Salah's bang out of form. But it's not just Salah. It's not just Trent. It's Virgil. Is everyone right now is not in the form that's really going to get you in that ascendancy. So it's going to be still a bit of pain for Liverpool to come. But the real plus today was Nunes up front. I think if you're looking for something that made a difference, it was certainly him. And I think he'll be, although he won't want to lose any football match, he'll be delighted with himself because it's not been a, a great start to the season for him. And there were many pluses if we can look at him now. But this team had to evolve, didn't it? We talk about the, the sadness and the disappointment perhaps shock in some quarters of Mane leaving, this, this front three had to evolve. Yeah, it does. It, he was a big player. You know, if you, if you look, when, when Liverpool were at their best, they closed down from the front. They were the best about. They were the best in the business. They used to win the ball so high up, it was one pass and it was a goal. That's not happening anymore too often now. They're not suffocating teams. Teams are getting through them too easy. They've let in a free and a free in the last two games. That ain't going to get you First anywhere. First happened under you. And it's a that ain't gonna happen. And it's a different gonna... profile of a front three. You talk about mm -hmm. Nunes. Jota came in, you know, last year. And then, of course, Luis Diaz. When you talk about Mane, Salah, Firmino, who are so used to playing together, this is now a different profile of a front three, different profile of a midfield three, rather than the three hard-working midfield players to protect the back four, to allow the fullbacks to go forward. So it's a transitional period. We've got some teething problems. So I think that all with, we've got good young players coming through, yeah. but I think it's going to be a while before is we the, can is see Is the mentality Liverpool. still there? We often talk about this Liverpool side being the mentality monsters. Well, of course, mentality monsters can come with the experience of the players, the Milners and the, and, and the Hendersons and, you know, the age of those players. These are still young players. And we saw it with Arsenal's young players last year. They're now getting better. So it'll be a while for Liverpool to get back to where they were. But if you look, if you look at Liverpool over the years, they were the best team without the ball to front three. They would make runs like... They, Salah was the best. Mm. He would make a run, he would sprint. He's not running off the ball anymore. You look at the Arsenal three now, that reminds me of the Liverpool three two, three years ago, you know, pace, running without the ball, you know, loads of energy. At the moment, I, I, I just feel they're stuck in a little bit of tree court at the moment. I, I worry for Liverpool at the moment, I really yeah, do. And certainly defensively, I think the first game of the season that they played against Fulham, and it was a moment when Mitrovic faced up Van Dijk and went past him, gave away the penalty, and it was almost as if we're in, OK, we can get at this Liverpool team, we can cause them problems, and they showed that they have got that defensive frailty that we never really thought that they had and I think that's pretty much gone for the team Fabinho who's been so good for that team in midfield is not really part of the plans at the moment he's not in the team even when he came on I thought he really struggled didn't have that energy or desire to really defend in that position so there are so many different aspects that just don't really seem to be working but right Jamie now. you know that defensive stability for me came from the three midfield players allowing Trent and Robbo to go forward two centre-backs and those three hard-working midfield players you were not able to get at our back four so if Trent yeah, when Trent would go forward one of the, one of the midfield Milner, players would come Fabinho, and fill in that Henderson, position exactly. Wijnaldum whereas now the profile is different you got Harvey Elliott you got Cavallo you got good players going forward Thiago on the ball but as I said Arsenal with less possession had more opportunities in Liverpool's box because so the is, midfield aren't protecting the back So ball. do you think it, is, there's maybe a world where sometimes Trent can't cover forward as much because we're going to leave exposed with Virgil or Matip, whoever absolutely, plays there? Absolutely, absolutely, because the amount of times Trent used to go forward and you'd see midfield players covering for him, whereas now when Trent goes forward, they're getting straight into our back four. So the profile's changing, the, the, the way we play is changing, so it'll take time for us to adapt. So when you say you're worried about mm. Liverpool, what do you mean? How bad could this get, do you think? Well, they've got to get in the top four, haven't they? Two, two big big football teams are going to miss out this season. 
You know, there's six big teams here and two are going to miss out. Liverpool don't want to be one of them. They play Man City at home next. You know, they play Man City. Arsenal win their next game and, and Liverpool get beat at Man, against Man City. That's 17 points. You put it in perspective. I know that'll be only 10 games gone, but you're talking that six football matches Arsenal would have to lose. Now, they lose six football matches and say Liverpool lose four to the end of the season, which is which is not a lot over 28 games. Steady, they're losing steady, Murray, a, you're doing maths. <laughs> they're losing, yeah, but you've got way <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah, losing, They would have to lose a third of their football matches to the end of the season. That's middle of the table yeah. stuff. This team ain't losing 10 football matches. And, and I they're think, not. I they're think not. as well, Paul, the, the dream or the hope for Liverpool fans, and, I, and I'm sure the same for, for Jurgen Klopp, is to get Jude Bellingham as a midfield player, but everyone, because he's the best young midfield player in the country, mm. because he's the sort of player that can completely change everything oh, in that yeah. midfield area. Yeah. But if you don't make top four, he's not coming to Liverpool. That, that's the problem, and that's the dilemma that Liverpool have. They've, they've been in worse positions. There are worse positions when we had lockdown and we were playing in you know, empty stadiums and no defence. So they will get better. I fancy them for the top four. I fancy them for the top four. Well, when you say top four, I mean third, third or fourth. But it, it, yeah, new, yeah. That, the, the performance by Nunes today, I think, was so important, John, wasn't it? And the performance by Liverpool, because ultimately they're playing the team who are probably the informed team in the country away from home, and they and they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, as Jurgen Klopp says, the informed team against the not-informed team, and, you know, they lost to a dubious penalty so you know and Nunes will be a big plus Nunes will be a big plus for final them. thoughts talking about Arsenal who've won here tonight they've gone back to the top of the league what do you think is possible for them oh definitely top four I think well, I'm going to say top four <laughs> listen I think Man City are going to win it but I think Arsenal can look for second or third I think so I, I, I think top four I think they haven't been in Champions League they've got to get in the top four I think that's the name of the game and I think they put a big gap between them and Liverpool so early in the season especially with Liverpool playing Man City next week. Top four would be amazing. Unbelievable transformation. This place has been toxic for years. I mean, there's been situations, I remember, that not too long ago, the fans were outside protesting against the Cronkies. Right now, this is a place to have a season ticket in, in, in this part of the world. This is if brilliant you got a football. Few quid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you have, Mass. But, but they are playing such Used good to. football. They're a joy to watch.